Hello everyone, Rad here uh, from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising uh, weekly tarot reading for February 4th to uh, February 10th, 2018. Now for uh, this video I'm going to use the original uh, Reader White tarot cards and uh, now I'm going to shuffle these cards I will remind you once again that that is a, a general reading for uh, Taurus star sign and for that reason uh, it's going to uh, resonate in a different level with uh, the different Tauruses. So <clears throat> in this video once again I will try to do here my best in order to explain you the um, meanings of these cards and as well you know their uh, synergy in the spread but uh, you will have to align your situation with uh, the with the tarot cards with this general reading for a maximum accuracy now if you want uh, me to uh, do that for you and to analyze your personal situation with the tarot cards well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So let's see what the four cards for you are Tauruses. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the 10 of swords and that points to the topic of your week. The second card that we do have, this is going to be the temperance card and this card refers to things that you should not do throughout the week. These are the bad things that you can do throughout the week or the actions that can hold down your growth. The third card, which is the positive card, that is going to be the Knight of Wands. And this card refers to the things you can do which are going to provoke growth in your life, or they are going to better your circumstances. And the last card that we do have that is going to be the Hierophant. And the Hierophant in this position stands as a final outcome or what will happen if you keep these conditions in check. So this is always, no matter what kind of a card comes here, it is always a, a card of growth. So <clears throat> I will put them here on the desk, uh, the cards, and we're going to go just one card after another as well. This is going to be a... Um, enhanced tarot spread so we are going to draw additional card per each position but just the, the very first impression here is kind of like climbing the rock bottom if I may express myself that way so with uh, with the ten of swords it, I can't say that this is going to be really an, an exhilarating month for you Tauruses uh, probably a lot of um, undertakings and generally a lot of situations that you will have to go through are not going to be exactly pleasant and uh, you know you may find yourself struggling as well but if you play your cards right uh, with with these tarot cards and if you kind of like take on this challenge as an opportunity to grow rather than as something that uh, it's kind of worsens uh, your lifestyle and worsens, worsens your life in general, then uh, you can provoke a severe, a severe growth. And uh, with the Hierophant at the end, uh, you are going to, how can I place it? You will basically uh, set foot on a, a very substantial path that will lead you to a, you can say it great success, but let's say it's going to lead you to fulfillment. So that being said, going to the first card here, which is the Ten of Swords, that is the topic of the week. And as a general topic, the Ten of Swords says that an era is coming to an end. Um, an era which most likely is provoked or kind of like is accompanied with rather unpleasant circumstances. A, an era ending uh, that you may find yourself urging to, to, to resist this ending, kind of like, uh, you know, being urged to uh, to quit your job and you don't want to quit your job, uh, finding yourself not happy into your relationship and yet you feel obliged to fight for that relationship and etc, etc. But uh, <clears throat> this era that is ending or this cycle of life 
that is ending, uh, a life cycle that is ending, uh, it will require from you to take some uh, a final decisions, all right? So you have to be as well. Uh, this week, uh, this uh, week of uh, February 4th to February 10th will require from you to be very, very decisive, all right? And basically no compromises with your decisions has to be uh, exerted in there. As well, uh, it will require from you to take some drastic measures, some drastic actions. So uh, literally what this card here points is that you have to be very, very strong and very, very unyielding when it comes to this specific week, February 4th to February 10th. Additionally to that, uh, <clears throat> the Ten of Swords asks you not to try to avoid whatever is happening, but rather face it with your full self-respect or rather with your full dignity and pride as well <clears throat> now the thing is that throughout this week you're going to draw a line you're going to make a retrospective and this retrospective could be the very well the thing that is going to provoke the ending of the near of an era example of uh, that is you may draw a line of your personal business and you may find that this business actually takes more than you than you are getting from it and that could provoke the ending of an era of this business same thing could happen relationship wise you may draw the line there and make a retrospective of it and uh, basically find out for yourself that this relationship leads you nowhere and you have to put an end to it and etc etc the variations are numerous but something is ending, something has to end. And uh, with this ending, you will start to climb the, the, uh, the, the rock bottom. And the accompanied card of it, that is going to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> so we do have an active enemies. And uh, what Ace of Pentacles here says is that this ending of an era is going to uh, force you to be outside of your comfort zone and uh, it will uh, kind of like make you confront some awkward situations and as well it will involve a, uh, a some sort of a risk either all right so it, it will be kind of like times of insecurity and times of of, of I don't want to say indecisiveness because the card itself, the Ten of Swords, asks you to be very, very decisive. The thing with the Ace of Pentacles here is that uh, you may not see the ultimate, um, the ultimate benefits of one or another decision, and that may make you quite indecisive on its own. But eventually, you know, you have to make your decision one way or another. So that is the topic here, really. And um, personally, if I were Taurus, um, I would have caught myself very warm and uh, basically tried to persevere through the week. And whatever wants to walk away from my life, I would not make any predicaments for that thing to walk away. Because uh, uh, with the Ten of Swords, even if we or you, Taurus, is capable to... Um, to borrow its time, it will be only thing that deteriorates your situation. So, <clears throat> giving say, um, that if I had a, a girlfriend, for example, when I was Taurus, if that girlfriend wants to walk away, I would just let her go. Right? If I had these cards, but yeah, again, uh, that is entirely your decision. You have to make your decision throughout the week. Uh, regardless of how this uh, situation is going to manifest for you. The second card here, uh, we have the temperance. So these are the things that you should not do throughout the, um, throughout the week or the bad actions that you can take. And so the temperance is a card of compromise. The temperance is a card of balance. The temperance is a card of finding the middle road. So a road of actions or a road of a uh, performance that none of the extreme variations is touched. Well, you got to do just the opposite, all right? So uh, <clears throat> the whole situation will require from you to be extreme and finding uh, and trying to find a, um, a way of compromise. It's something that is going to prove itself rather futile, at least according to these cards. So... 
with that specific sense, the temperance here asks you to stick with your personal opinion and you should not allow yourself to be uh, manipulated by other kinds of opinions. Second of all, uh, depending on how the situation will, will unfold, you could be uh, persuaded other way, other way around from this uh, final decision by um, your sense of, of, of pity and commiseration being exploited. For example, you decide that this relationship you're in is basically over and uh, you're not feeling happy in it and you decide to live it or to leave it well that partner of yours could try to touch that sense of, of, of sympathy you know and of commiserations to keep you around them right and so that's why you have to be very decisive and unyielding so you gotta go to the extreme here and just say no to cut them off if that's your case of course uh, and also the temperance here, it, it kind of refers to the chores and kind of refers to the um, to the things that you may do that you have no obligations towards or whatever you don't have any obligations to. It's not your business. It's not your responsibility. It is not your duty. Therefore, throughout this week, Tauruses, you will have already a lot on your mind, you will have a lot on your plates, and uh, you have to basically attend only to those things which are yours to do and which are your responsibility instead of uh, chasing someone else's, you know, someone else's responsibilities and, and contributing for their good end while neglecting your own personal good end. The additional card here, uh, that is going to be the Seven of Swords. And uh, basically what the Seven of Swords here, it's really telling us is that you're, uh, you don't have much more to gain from it, really. Regardless, is that going to be a relationship or not? And uh, the Seven of Swords here uh, is, is really, really urging you to stick with your... Uh, with your opinion and with your original vision, you know, vision of you being happy, vision of uh, how you're going to take that choice, how you're going to make those irrevocable uh, actions as well that I have, uh, I have uh, talked uh, before. And in generally here, the Seven of Swords, it, it kind of like does point that as well, you have to leave that situation or go through this um, era of, um, of change or ending of one's era on of one's uh, life cycle with uh, with peace and humbleness with uh, with great amounts of candor as well and basically uh, making all the situations settled so you should not you should not leave a matter unsolved in case this is a as i said a relationship that you are to leave you have to settle your things into that relationship if you have things to share there then they have to be uh, separated accordingly. So if, for example, you are married with someone or, and uh, you are to split apart, then you have to kind of like uh, deviate the, um, the mutual property or the, 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 the mutual possessions accordingly. So you gotta be fair as well when you are to walk after or kind of like walk through this uh, ending of an era. Then the next card that we do have for you, Taurus, is this is going to be the Knight of Wands, which is the things that you got to do, or rather, like, what is the positive approach toward that situation? And the Knight of Wands is all about exploring. The Knight of Wands is all about being an enterprising person. So you, you always need to seek other options available or other opportunities. It's not really an options available. It's more like an opportunities. So this card here tells us that after this era of a turmoil, era of, of um, insecurity, it's it's over and you are now climbing your uh, your way up from the rock bottom. There will be much more things that you can start doing. There will be so much more also a shores for you to explore, to conquer, but it will involve a, a certain amount of risk. And as we said here with the temperance, with the previous card, that you should not seek the balanced way. That is confirmation additionally from the from the Knight of Wands, saying that you need to have that readiness to take a, a calculative risk, all right? This, we are not talking here about stupid risk, but we are talking about calculative risk. 
Knights of Wands is very energetic. Knights of Wands is, uh, it always seek things with interest. So basically that card urges you to at least answer to yourself what is the thing that keeps uh, keeps your interest fed and, and start ex exploring, excuse me, this particular direction, this particular thing, so you can find what is going to work for you afterwards. That is very, because uh, this is how I see the whole thing here, Taurus says. You are ending of an era, all right? And what happens next with this card, Knights of Wands, depends entirely on you. So you gotta find your next enterprise, you gotta find your next goal, you know, or your next agenda. You gotta define it for yourself. I mean, with this, with these cards, the universe, it will give it to you, but it's gonna take a lot of time, all right? And it will be beneficial for you if you do it for your own. So with the Knights of Wands, additionally to that, uh, this card is telling us that you can you can go for a lot more than you have thought. It is just, um, it is just, it will require your sense of curiosity. It is what I'm trying to say here. So try the life, guys, I mean, uh, capitalize on the sense you have to lead good life outside of this thing that it is ending. For example, if it is uh, a relationship is ending here, all right, this relationship is not the entire world. This person you were, you have been is not the only person in this world as well. There is so much more happiness elsewhere. Or if this is a, a job that it is ending as well, this isn't the only company in the world that is going to offer you that job. This salary that you have uh, been given there, it is not the, um, the ultimate limit of a salary you can achieve as well. So the life goes on. This is what that, that car is trying to say to you. And you shouldn't... Uh, find yourself discouraged just because uh, one thing doesn't want to be around you anymore but you should seek a way to substitute it with something even better and the accompanied card here that is going to be uh, the strength card with uh, the knights of wands the strength card gives a uh, uh, gives a shade of uh, one's uh, vigor and uh, uh, of one's determination to make the things right this time around. So take it that way. You do have now after this year, ending of an era is shaping, a, a new vision of yourself is going to start shape as well. So because you know, when one era is ending, when one's life cycle is ending, it is always because of something. And the strength card here is pointing that you are gonna very well define, give a definition what that something was. That's why you are going to make a retrospection here throughout this week. <clears throat> and uh, the strength card is pointing that you are going to learn your lesson and you will not allow um, anymore the same mistake to happen again. So whatever you're going to substitute that thing that it is ending here throughout this week is going to be much more secure and solid than the previous one. So if you are substituting one relationship for another, the next relationship is going to be much more solid and much more reliable, if I may express it that way. If you are substituting one career for another, same thing goes around. So it's kind of like a, a reshuffling, all right? Although with the Ten of uh, Swords is going to happen with rather more unpleasant circumstances, ultimately will lead to self-healing growth and as well, uh, even some of you are going to uh, realize that their capabilities go, are going far beyond what they thought right now. And that will lead them to conquering new heights, new summits, and basically redefining their uh, personal life. So that was uh, with uh, the... Uh, <clears throat> with the guidance here, what you should do throughout uh, this week. Uh, and uh, just to summarize that, you should never stop searching something new and uh, something refreshing, something that it's, it's interesting to you, all right? To substitute whatever doesn't wanna be around you anymore. The last card that we do have, this is going to be the uh, Hierophant. And what the Hierophant points is that one way or another, at the end of the month, you are going to be cancelled or thought of something, all right? <clears throat> and how you're going to take on this insight and this knowledge 
It will depend how you take on the guidance here. Things you don't do and things you should do. For example, if you uh, go against what the cards are advising you to let go of and you try to save it, these uh, teachings and these uh, consultations are going to be just on the opposite side. You know, they will urge you not to do it because there is no point in it and etc. etc. In that variation, the Hierophant could as well uh, manifest itself as a therapeutic help, counselor, you know, couples therapist, and so on and so forth. It is basically someone who uh, has a, um, a professional experience in this field that you are going through uh, right now. But the thing with the Hierophant is that the more at the end of uh, this week it's, um, it's approaching, the more you are going to start to realize that the issues you have, the problems this ending of an era is creating for you, and in generally the, um, the despondent situation for some of you that you are finding yourself in, can be very easily resolved with the uh, when you start doing it, so, or when you start seeking the problem in the already existing framework. So <clears throat> what the Hierophant here says is that um, the whole thing is in front of you and it, it only comes to that, can you acknowledge it or not? Additionally to that, uh, the Hierophant, it, it, it kind of like does point that you are going to set foot, like I said at the start of this reading, to a, a very um, systematic and as well consistent um, path moving on uh, forth and also promises that the next thing which you are going to substitute substitute whatever it is walking away from your life at that specific point uh, to be uh, much more consistent and to be um, basically a thing that you can rely on either career or, or, or either relationship. That is, uh, that is the important thing of the Hierophant. It basically teaches us that everything comes and goes and the next thing that comes after one thing goes, it's, uh, it's simply better. It's just how life works. Family comes and goes, job comes and goes, love comes and goes, you know. Only thing that we are left with, it's ourself, our determination to always seek better and uh, as well our eagerness to um, make ourselves better from poignant experiences. The card that accompanies the Hierophant, that is the Star card. And uh, what the Star card here it does, it kind of like contradicts the, the, the Hierophant a little bit and it's always, and the only thing that it contradicts it, it does point to the, um, how can I place it? To the support. Right, so uh, support and kind of like you involving yourself with, with um, cumulative experiences because uh, this ending that you are going to experience throughout the week it could damage your belief into the human nature and for to a certain extent is going to damage it. Well, the star card here with the Hierophant it does urges you not to lose faith in the human nature, and that is very well accomplished, um, kind of like exertable in those who are to experience deviation in relationships. You know, just because your current partner was not what you have expected, or they didn't act appropriately, and etc. etc. doesn't mean that the next one ain't going to do it. So it's kind of like this star card with the Hierophant urges you not to lose hope in the human nature and always, always to seek the long-term goal in favor of, um, over, over the favor of uh, the short-term one. Because long -term, a long-term goal can give you long-term happiness, short-term short goal gives you only short-term happiness. So that being said, Taurus says this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2018. I really hope that you are enjoying it, guys, and um, I hope that it kind of makes sense uh, to you and to your personal situation, and uh, you can extract some sort of a guidance so you can face the ups and downs in the week much more uh, easily. And uh, once again, that was just a, a general reading and for that reason it's going to resonate in a different level and in a different way with every single different Tauruses. 
But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, uh, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.